uh, good morning man uh, we are find out newspaper i uh, find out tv online and uh, we are running interview on uh, the nation presently and uh, the coming election we want to find out your view about uh, who you prefer among the candidates is it the old one you prefer or the young one because we have the old ones and the young ones among those are contesting for the president for the president of the country and the election is less than three weeks now so ma what's your name and who will you prefer to vote for in the coming election okay i'll start by my name is um Ugo. okay and um if you ask me or if i should say, say my stake on it I will tell you that the young ones should be able to, and capable to take up the seat. The old ones have been there for a while and we've not really seen what they have actualized. Because they keep saying that the young is the future of the country and yet when would that young become the future of the country if the chance or the privilege is not given to such young ones? So I prefer that let the young ones be there and let the old ones sit back and then take up the young one, encourage them, educate them, you know, guide them on what to do. In fact, they should be the godfather of the young ones and not someone else and the old one becoming the godfather of an old man. That means things are not being working out in this country. So we need a reformation, a restructure of the country. In fact, what we actually need is the real democracy so that mm. we Nigerians can feel the impact of the, of the economy. So you are, cons you are considering voting for a young one? Yes. Why did you particularly want to vote for a young person in the coming election? The old have been there for, as I said before, mm. they've been there for years. Mm. Even the present government now have been there, out and come back. Mm. So does it mean that there is no young person in this Nigeria, even the politicians among them, that can take up the seat? When they will say, they will say that the young ones cannot take it. Why won't the young ones take it? Have you tried? Mm. You've not tried. Let them be there. At least a 45 year old man can take up the seat. Mm. At least, let's say, 50 years can take up the seat. Mm. Not people like 70, 80, or whatever. So we still need that chance of the young ones. Bring them up, teach them. If you're old, if you're getting old, you, you got married, you have kids, you train your, your kids. If you have a, a company, you train the, comp the, the kids alongside with the, com country, the company so that the kids grow up, you continue with the, 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 the company. Mm -hmm. So why don't you do that to the, com to the government? When the, the, you are growing up, you train up the young ones who can take up the seats mm -hmm. with you. And when, when they are not there, you can sit back, sit at home, or sit wherever you are, and then guide them. They can run up to you and say, please, sir, what can I do about this? You have been there. This is the situation. If there is any new things, it can come up. Yes. Do you have your PVC, ma? No, I don't have. My PVC Why? is... Uh, I misplaced it anyway. Have you made a effort to get another one? Yeah, I did. I did. And I, have you gotten it? No, I have not gotten it. Why? The process uh, is too long. And I cannot, because of my schedule, I cannot continue going to that far distance of going to Munshi and coming back and queuing and... Uh, no, no, no. So what do you think is the solution to that? What do you think government can do to reduce the stress of uh, anyway. retrieving your PVC when, it's, when the government is in? What do you think? Retrieving it is, you know, they will tell you hey, this is a particular place you should go. Hmm. Why don't they bring it closer to the people hmm. instead of going as far as that and make hmm. it easier? Mm. For us, so that we will be able to, to vote. Now I'm yep. disenfranchised because I'm not, I'm not, I don't have my PVC. Okay. So even if I have it now, I will go as far as Oshodi to go and vote. Mm. That early morning, can I do that? Mm. Who will take me there? Mm. So why don't they do it in a way that even if you have your PVC and when you have it, you vote in any polling booth that is polling booth that is around you, so that you will be able to vote. Like my husband have his own at somewhere at Keja. Can he live here that early morning and then go to Keja to go and vote? Mm, yeah. So that means so many people are not going to vote. Some have relocated, some are no longer here, some mm. are from one state to the other. Mm. So that means they can't vote. Thank you. This is Find Out TV.